Hi, I'm Elio from BitScout. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can extract data from a CV into your Google Sheets using Zapier. The CV in this case will arrive into Google Drive. So for instance, you are running a very intensive pro process of hiring and you receive lots of CVs. You can save them all into Google Drive and then use BitScout to analyze them and extract all the necessary data into your um, Google Sheets. So in this case, uh, I have prepared one CV here into my folder. And uh, in Zapier, first thing that we need to do is create a trigger called new file in a folder, all right? Because this trigger will detect when the new file is uploaded. I, I've chosen my uh, folder, you need to choose yours here. Then uh, we need to run a test. So I need to find new records because I've just added the file and I want to use it for a test just to see that everything is... Uh, it was accountant, yes. So just to see if everything is working correctly. Okay, so Zapier uh, demands all, um, in Zap uh, every step to be tested, which is, I agree with that. So next thing, next action, you choose BitScout, and here there is a direct action called extract data from CV. It means you don't need to go to our platform to create the plugin and etc. BitScout will create it for you and use it for you. Okay, now the only thing, of course, you need to choose your account. And then um, that's it here in the file URL, you need to choose the file. You need to choose file exists but not shown. This, is, this will be a file specifically prepared by Zapier for us. Do not use any other links because sometimes they work, sometimes not. It's not clear why in Google Drive. We always recommend to use file that always works 100% of the time. Choose here, press continue. And now you can test this step. This step is required to understand for, so for Zapier to understand what data we extract. And uh, this way Zapier will give you fields to map into Google Sheets. So let's wait for the test to finish. Okay, so here is our CV. And then the next step is to create a Google Sheet with the data mapped. Okay, you need to create one spreadsheet row. Continue, continue. And here, uh, please choose your Google Sheet. Obviously, you can write data to any other tool that is in Zapier. You don't have to write it in, in a Google Sheet. I'm using this as an example to show you how the data is mapped. So now, there is a bunch of fields. So now you can use uh, the data from BitScout to map to those fields. And this is exactly uh, the extraction that you're looking for. Okay. You can add some more. All right. And then uh, you can run the test of this step. So let me open a Google Sheet. Okay, yeah, it is. Um, so let's run it. And what will happen? The data will appear. In. So here we are. Now you can use this um, uh, setup. Now the Zap is ready, you can run it, drop many as many files as you want, thousands, and the BitScout will automatically extract data and write it to the tool you want. Thanks a lot for your time.